Hello Cardinals, we're going to be talking about Investigation 3.1 today, Testing the Motion of Waves. We're in pages 7, 8, and 9 in our notebook. Page 7 is where most of your work will be done today. Page 8 is taping in your objectives, and page 9 is your vocabulary. So as we move to Investigation 3.1, we want to look at the introduction for Lesson 3, talking about earthquakes, collecting earthquake data, and finding patterns to help predict um, when the next earthquake might happen. We're going to be modeling some waves and collecting information and analyzing that data. For today's investigation, we're going to model, observe, and record different types of earthquake waves. We have a list of vocabulary to get taken care of during lesson three. And we're going to move on to investigation 3.1, talking about how earthquakes affect buildings. Now we're going to be looking at the waves that would cause the motion that affected those buildings. You're going to use a bunch of different materials, including a slinky. Um, why are we using a spring for this device? Why are, you know, waves, talking a lot about waves and carrying energy through those waves. Um, talk about how you're going to be using the slinky. You're not going to pick it off the ground. It's going to stay on the ground the whole time. And you're going to decide who's going to do each part of the investigation. Um, there's some do's and don'ts. Do not stretch the spring, the spring too far. Do not let go suddenly. It will tangle. And you're going to completely compress the spring before letting it go. So things uh, to think about here. You're going to have a group member collect the materials. And you're going to have uh, a sheet to work on called simulating the motion of an earthquake waves. Each member needs to fill that out. So you're going to practice making a few waves with one person holding it. Um, what does the spring represent? What does the person holding the spring represent? Uh, what does the person moving the spring represent? So thinking about how this model it works. You're going to practice at least two different types of waves, a push and pull wave and a side-to-side -side wave, as you can see in the figures below. Um, you can use a piece of paper to guide you and that piece of construction paper um, so you can do it the same each time. Uh, you might also be using the tiles on the floor so it, it, the waves are consistent. You're going to sketch what's going on, you know, from the... Uh, from the student perspective, and then you're going to take some times and see how long the wave takes to move. You know, th um, look at these things called push and pull waves, which are P waves, and side to side waves, which are S waves, and compare the diagrams of both of them. You'll be using some masking tape, and the tape represents structures um, sticking up out of Earth's surface, so you can see what happens to those structures. The spring um, of the earthquake waves start deep inside the earth and your model is horizontal instead of vertical. So there's some different ways that your model is like real life in some ways it's not. And you'll need to write that down. For number 12, you're going to model the S and P waves, the push waves and the side to side waves. And you're going to be writing some things down on that sheet of paper you got today. The last money you'll make is a third kind of wave um, horizontally through the earth and you'll be um, you're going to put five pieces of tape on the different coils and you're going to, I'll show you the next one. You're going to move the string side to side and record your observations. So when you're all done, you're going to read earthquake waves and energy transfer and discuss the following questions in your notebook. So your to-do list today, there are 17 steps to investigation 3.1. A big part of this is reading earthquake waves and the transfer of energy. Make sure you're answering questions A through E in your journal. If you do get time, you should read and prep Investigation 3.4 and also work on your vocabulary. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know.